Okay, so we have how many diabetic dogs, Leon? Two. Two diabetic dogs. And every once in a while you gotta do a glucose curve. Every six months. How much does the vet charge? The vet charge is about $150. $150. So you can do this yourself at home. You can buy this kit here off Amazon. The link is in the description below. I think this kit's about $50. Uh, this is exactly, this is the same kit that our vet uses. Yes, because he told us it he was. Said, he said the same one. Yeah. So we do it ourselves. I'm going to show you how to do it. So we buy this kit, and then um, we get a box of these lamps here. We get a box of these lamps here. They're pretty cheap. And also, instead of the, uh, the, the poker that comes in the kit, we use this one. The link is in the description below for all these. This one I think works better than the one that comes in the kit. So now we're going to get Sammy. We're doing his curve. We've got to poke him. How many times today we're going to poke him, Leon? Yeah? Well, it's a 12 hour curve. So we're going to poke him six times. Yes. We do his feet. Our good friend Ashley says you can poke him other places, like where, Leon? Um, the tongue, the ear. <laughs> oh my god, you're going to poke him in the tongue? The cheek. No, yeah, poke him in the tongue. You can poke him in the cheek, the ear, and other places, people. <laughs> oh, I thought the tongue. Don't poke him in the tongue, people. Okay, so this is a two person job. You got to get someone to hold him. We're going to go down here and we're going to poke uh, a pad here. So you're going to want to make sure you shave off um, all the hair down here because the hair will absorb some of the uh, blood. So, okay, I'm going to get ready to poke him. Look how chill he is. Get ready. Look, he didn't even flinch. He doesn't even flinch. Get a little drop of blood there. Okay. And then we're just going to take it just to get the corner. Right now we wait. 246. So his number's a little bit high. We're going to record this. And let's see how Sammy's doing. Sammy, how'd you do, Sammy? How's Sammy doing? I'm doing okay. Sammy? What's going on? He goes, what's going on? Sammy, are you okay? Sammy? Oh yeah, he's fine. <laughs> so to throw away this, I just, here's the cap I saved. I just stick the needle into that part. And then I throw it away and there's no use. And you won't get stuck by that needle. Okay, so this is how we chart his numbers. This isn't a simple word document, notepad. You could probably use Excel. We just uh, make it bigger. So we just put in the date, the time, and what his number was, and what his insulin level is. So Sammy is at 7.0 insulin. And when we did his um, two weeks before, you can see his numbers down here were 440, 353, 528. That's when we decided with our vet to raise his insulin from 6.5 to seven and then you can see these numbers here how it really improved his um it lowered his insulin back to normal range and he eats gets breakfast at 7 30 that's breakfast time that's dinner time and all we simply can do is we copy this and we email it to our vet okay. leon leon how much money do we save how much money did we save oh 150 dollars thanks leon Ow. I had to think about it. Did you know Leon was right there behind me? All right, guys. Post any questions below. We've had three diabetic dogs over the years. We still have two that are alive and two that get insulin. So we get four insulin shots a day. I don't know if you need a video about that or not. There's already some good videos on YouTube. You just kind of back the scruff of the neck. We pinch up, stick the needle in, aspirate, and then inject. So um, pretty simple. The dogs don't seem to mind. Well, they probably do. Sometimes Willow yips a little bit. Uh, she's kind of sensitive. All right, guys, post below any questions you have about this. And thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe.